teams are eligible for the Winter Olympics, but only two can go to Nagano. Christy Sargent and Chris Wirtz are one step away from making the journey. Leaders after the short program, they've been down this road before. They've been to the Olympics before. Michelle Menzies and Jean-Michel Bombardier have never been to the Winter Games. And that's why today is the most important of their skating careers. They sit third and must jump at least one position. Jodine Higgins and Sean Rice share the same dream, but it may be slipping away. They're in fifth place right now. They need the performance of a lifetime. And the defending Canadian champions, Marie-Claude Savard-Gagnon and Luc Rade. They're currently second. A ticket to the Olympics within their grasp. All they have to do is go out and get it. The pressure's on. Get ready, Canada. The pair's free skate is next. And good afternoon, everyone. I'm Rod Black. Before we get to today's schedule, let's talk about last night. Shailen Bourne and Victor Kratz brought the house down. They're on the verge of securing their sixth straight Canadian dance title. They performed their original dance, a dance that has been criticized this season. But they were right on the money. Bourne and Kratz lead. Lefebvre and Brené are second, and Wing and Lowe are third. Free dance tomorrow night on CTV. Later tonight in primetime, Elvis Stoiko no doubt will wrap up another Canadian crown. The question is, though, will he insert another quadruple jump into his program? He's been tinkering with the idea of adding a quad sow cow to the end of his program. He's been practicing it all week, and you have to wonder if he's been practicing it, why wouldn't he try it? He isn't tipping his hand. He isn't telling anyone whether he'll do it. We will find out later tonight, and if he does it tonight, will he do it in Nagano? 28 days to go until the Winter Olympic Games, and the big question is who will go in the pairs competition, the biggest one here in Hamilton. Four teams earned qualification berths. Only two teams will go. Canada will not send a women's single skater. We all know that to Nagano, but today we will show you the women's short program from last night to the winner goes a chance at the World Championships, a trip to Minneapolis in the spring. But let's get it started with the pairs, and nobody... No better person to talk to uh, than Barb Underhill, our Hall of Famer. Everyone who came here basically knew where they were going, if they were going to Nagano or not, except for the pairs. This is very exciting. It's the most exciting event uh, at the Canadians for me because there's, there's just so much on the line for these three teams. There are three teams here that could equally represent Canada at the Olympics, only two spots. So I think what we're going to see out here today is the team that has the most character, the most courage to go out there and do it when it counts is, is going to get those trips to the Olympics. Let's talk about the women now, if we can. Susan Humphreys is not here. She's the defending champion. We know that we lost that berth in Vienna, the last chance qualifier, so we don't send a woman to the Olympic Games. Susan is not well. She's in Edmonton. She says she's still going to skate someday, but this event misses her. Definitely. There's a, there's a hole in the women's event right now, and there, there's just so much controversy around uh, the women's program right now. There are three women, I think, that have a chance at taking the title here. Jennifer Robinson, Angie DeRose, uh, Keila Oz as well. Um, what I want to see is a battle out here. I want to see somebody come out here with, with some guts, some ter determination, and, and just push all the controversy aside. I want to see some character. Well, the women's short program in just a few moments. That's from last night. We're not going to give it away. If you didn't read the newspaper this morning, stay tuned. Also, the pairs free skate later. A trip to the Winter Olympics on the line for two teams. Before the world, I think Kila O's. The Kila O's just might be ready to put the Canadian crown on her head. Of course, she has two programs to do that. Calm her nerves and also... Get the skate of her life in. The 18-year-old from Vancouver. Well, she certainly has the talent. Got the package. All she needs is to believe in herself here. Have the confidence to land the jump.
up right here. Triple flip combination. She gets stuck, doesn't quite get the rotation she needed. She just wasn't quite strong enough there to pull that relay through on the landing. is the most comfortable that I've seen her look this season. She finished 12th at the World Junior Championships recently held in St. John, New Brunswick. She was fourth in Canada a year ago. Still a lot of skaters to come, however. Where will the judges place Keela O's? North Vancouver's Keela O's trains at the Burnaby Eight Rinks, a beautiful skating facility out west. Spot. <laughs> that sucker ain't going down. <laughs> she went into this triple flip here, doesn't get the rotation she needs. She landed forward, actually. All jumps need to land backward the landing, on the outside edge. I don't know what happened. She was a mess. It was weird, it felt perfect. But it was the best performance, I'd say, all around that she's had this season. Aside from the mistakes, yeah. she looked confident. No, no, it was, the, it was the flip. They just showed the and flip. And every one of the spins she performed was a very quiet, high quality. What a baptism she had to international player Sun Life Skate Canada when she came in against a loaded field of top world competitors. But she's fought back and eight, four, five. Taking some major deductions here. These marks obviously go five, way up. One, five two, five four, five four, five one, five three. Five, Always four, says she wants five, to be four, number five, one, two. make an Olympic and world team. She's the leader. The runner-up to Susan Humphreys in Vancouver a year ago. Susan is not here, so Angela DeRoshi, you would figure would have to be the heir apparent to the Canadian crown. 24-year-old from Ottawa. Angela has struggled with injury this year. A tailbone problem. The key to this program here is getting off to a good start with her opening triple up combination. She does it. I think it was two feet, but that was great. Just to get the first one out of the way.
remember that although there isn't an Olympic berth available to these women, there is a world team berth. And Angela has never been to the world championships. Watch this double axle entrance. She comes on in on one foot, up into the air, beautiful. Good start to 1998. And this is so great to see for Angela. They're standing in Hamilton. She knows she did it. back at home Angela DeRoshi look at the great height she gets on this triple lap just a tiny touch down there with two feet hey on the Shelby, landing hi, but look at the smile there on the landing that tells it all I glossed her <laughs> I was really impressed with how she kept her concentration throughout the entire routine very clean triple toe loop now watch the entrance into this double axle. This is very difficult. She's on one foot here. She bends deep in her knee to get up into the air and is very strong in the landing. You saw that gentleman standing beside the board, longtime coach Peter Dunfield. She moved from Ottawa to New Jersey to join her coach. Look at those marks. One. It's been a tough year, as you mentioned. Tough season for Angie DeRoshi. Ninth at Skate America, 12th at NHK Trophy. Boy, but does this put her in good position so far? Five, four, five, five, zero, five, five, zero, five, five, eight. One more skate to come. Five, three. First place right now. That's the number she's shooting for after the free skate. Section Jennifer Robinson. Final words always from coach Doug Lee, wife Michelle Lee. No one has more to prove in this women's field than Jennifer Robinson. She fell to third in Canada a year ago. The 21-year-old was the Canadian champion two years ago, and you know this young woman nicknamed Tiger wants her crown back. And she knows that this performance right here could mean a trip back to the World Championships again. She's been working very hard this year, especially on her speed, her ice coverage. She opens here with her triple loop. She does it! notorious for putting her jumps and landing them close to the boards. And also for landing her jumps on two feet. The jump is there. She's just not confident enough sometimes to land it on one foot. Here's her triple lut. And you're right. Again, close to the boards. She didn't have enough speed there to get the second jump in. as always is to be in the top three after the short program so she really needs to hold this
program together to get that last double axle in. She pulls it out. Music appropriately titled The Mission. That's what she's on to reclaim the crown that she lost last year. Jennifer Robinson. Jennifer Robinson had a couple of ninth place finishes in the Thank Champion Series this year. Great focus. Struggled a little bit throughout this season, but not too many struggles here, in this performance. This is a beautiful triple loop jump. She opened with, she just nailed it. Now watch how close she gets to the boards on this combination. It was a nice triple let. She two foots it. However, because she's so close, she can't get that second jump in, and that's a major deduction. <laughs> always brimming with confidence she came off the ice while we were in commercial and she said good job by me Jennifer Robinson for required elements very great stuff five four five zero five two let's see what the judges think in terms of placing her with Angela DeRoshi I would say it's very close between the two of them marks for presentation presentation marks one judge five eight the other five two a five four split in the ordinals so one judge between the two skaters Jennifer Robinson in second Angie DeRoshi leading the way right now I wonder if those final instructions include you can do this. The door is wide open. Well, I spotted this skater last year at the Canadian Championships as one of the most talented skaters in the country. Unfortunately, she didn't have the confidence then to do it, but she seems to have the confidence this year. 18-year-old Annie Belmar. right here for triple lutz combination oh, oh she almost had that again she reached and fell she can nail this triple flip though she can still be in the hunt. Oh, she goes down hard.
is an unfortunate performance. She came out on the warm-up here, and she was all business. She landed a gorgeous triple left combination, a gorgeous triple flip. She has the goods. But didn't have the execution of the jumps in her short program. Annie Belmar makes her home in Saint-Eustache, Quebec, trains in Versailles. Eighth in Canada last year. Acquired elements, 3.9 to 4.6. Here's the judges will keep her up there. Presentation. Her goal, she says, is a podium finish here, but she has some work to do. She's in fifth. Skater in a short program that has been full of falls. This is Annie Bazinet, 22-year-old. She was 13th last year. She's been working with Sebastian Britton, who turned professional this past year. Beautiful position in the layback spin. She's opening with triple left combination. Not enough rotation. We've seen that over and over. focusing on the other elements, the spins, the spiral sequence, the footwork, and the overall program. And she has one of the nicer ones here. Beautiful double axle. She's certainly one of the better spinners of the competition. No triple jumps to be seen tonight. Final skater, but not very well skated, short program. Very difficult event to skate, very difficult event to judge. Barely a triple within the field. And that was about a double and a half. She came down forward. She grabs her knee. She does have some great lines, though. Spread eagle into double axel. That was very clean. Her spins were all very, very solid. After an event like this, though, and you watch so many of these women you have to really be concerned about the depth of canadian women skating because the rest of the world is doing triples well, i think everybody right now is looking downward to our junior ranks our novice ranks 
trying to see what we have coming up. Not bad for required elements. And her marks for presentation are better. Wow, I think it was the spin and the overall program that has held her up. She's in fourth place. Maybe skating last as well, forgetting about some of the earlier skaters, a couple of seventh place ordinals. And she's shocked. I think that's a bit of a gift. coming up momentarily for the award presentations. For the that was the women's free skate tomorrow night on CTV. Angela DeRoshi, Jennifer Robinson, a 5 4 split for the lead. Keila O's in third position. Annie Bazinet in fourth, Annie Belmar in fifth, Jamie Soleil sixth, Carolyn Massé seventh, Sheila Gangapadai eighth, Christine Gravel, Tara Ferguson. Biggest disaster of the night was Brandy Lee Russo, a nationally ranked skater, but she was 14th. Now let's join.